Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be opening Legacy of Destruction, the latest booster set. It's a quarter century rare set, so we've got uh, nine cards per pack, uh, just one rare, super rare better uh, in each one. Got some guaranteed ultras, uh, four per box, and then two secret rares or better. Uh, if we get a quarter century, obviously. Uh, so we've got 24 packs to get through. Uh, let's get to work on them, see what we can get. Quarter centuries in this set, nothing stands out. Nothing, well, so there's some good ones, but there's nothing that's like super, super crazy. A couple, uh, you know, in the mid $100 price range, but nothing like SP Little Knight was from Age of Overlord. So, we'll work our way through them, see what we can get. There's some pretty cool ones. The Tin Pie Dragon artwork is really cool. There's some crazy supers at the time of release, uh, but uh, those will probably fall down in time. So, Got Tantrum Toddler, and then we start off with an Ultra on our first pack. So we got Snake Eyes, Dia, Bellstar uh, to start us off here, and then Tin Pie Dragon, Fadra, uh, Kublet, and Sinful Spoils, Subduel. We haven't had a quarter century hit uh, that wasn't guaranteed uh, since Archlord Christia, so we're hoping to get one. Uh, we got Refrain the Melodious Songstress, Simultaneous Equation Cannons. Oh, we got back to back Ultras. So we got Ragnarika the Stag Sovereign, Link 5. This is a big ultra rare for the set, uh, as it is. Very powerful card uh, for worth. So let me grab a sleeve for this one. Go ahead and get us sleeved up. Good ultra rare. Good Link 5 there. Has some pretty good effects. Uh, so, knocking out all of our ultras early on the shuffle. Or we have an error box, which would be fantastic. But, uh, doubtful on that. We got Talons, Sinful Spoils, Melodious Concerto, Women Totland Twin Dragon, and Wake Up Centurion, another ultra. All right, we're going three for three. Uh, so, who knows? Could be interesting. Krishna Witch wraps us out on that pack. Uh, I don't know, or the set's mapped and I just happen to shuffle it uh, right down the middle on both packs, uh, or sorry, both stacks. In Papa's Footsteps, Senga's Kaiman, Soma the Earthbound Spirit, Sinful Spoil Struggle, Ancient Gear Dark Golem uh, pulls us up next. Tenpai Dragon Chandra, White Lord, Minment Totland Fusion, Ancient Gear Commander, wraps us out. All right, so we did not end up with an error box that was all ultras. Uh, a little bit sad on that one. The odds were not in our favor, obviously, for that. Ancient Gear Advance, Sinful Spoil Struggle, Ragnarika Hunting Dance, Refrain the Melodious Songstress, and Embers of the Ashen as our super. Cruisum Grave Squirmer, Haggard Lizard, Os, Tenpai Dragon Chandra, White Lord wraps us out. White Lord, White Baking, White Everything. All right. Light Sworn, Valmonica, Tantrum Toddler. Oh, we just skipped right to Ragnarika Chain Coils as a super rare. We got Ragnarika Mantis Monk, Ragnarika Armored Lizard, Double Die, and Ancient Gear Duel. The packs are opening crisp. That's always good. All right, Ragnarika Skeletal Soldier, Sinful Spoil Struggle, Sangin Pie Vident, Dragion, Zoma the Earthbound Spirit, Enlightenment Dragon, Stronghold the Hidden Fortress, Haggard Lizardos, Goblin Biker Grand Pileup, Ancient Gear Tanker. Let's get us into the next stack over here, next set of piles on the shuffle. So I shuffled all the packs. We hit three for three on the front end. Hopefully uh, we have some good stuff left behind here. We got Isa. We got Centurion Gargoyle II, uh, Zoma to Earthbound Spirit. We've got, oh, Mikazura Kanawaiwa, the Fang Dragon, Supreme King Zark Synchro Universe. That was not actually what his name was. Ragnarika, Samurai Beetle. We got Sengen Summoning, Ancient Gear Duel, and Ragnarika Mantis Monk. 
All right. Check this the side. Eyes of the Dragness of Deranged Devotion. Sinful Spoils. Ragnarika Skeletal Soldier. We got Sangin Kaiman. Gold Pride Eliminator. So we got another Gold Pride card. Goblin and Goblin Biker. Krishna Witch. Stronghold the Hidden Fortress. Ancient Gear Tanker wraps us out. Packs have gone cold. Centurion Gargoyle the Second, Mimit Totland, Twin Dragon, Talons of Shoreline, Zoma to Earthbound Spirit, Mirage Mirror Force, Goblin Biker, we got Baka, Tin Pie Dragon Chandra, Cyclos the Circular Sprite. We have not gotten the big Tin Pie Dragon, the one that's 17 the $20 or whatever it was now, which is the big super rare. Ancient Gear Advance in Papa's Footsteps. Uh, Mikazuka Nioba, the Moonfane Dragon. Eyes of the Dragoness of Deranged Devotion. Flowering Etoile, the Melodious Magna Cat. Hazarding Lords of Dose Couplet, Valmonica, and Sinful Spoil Subduel. Card names getting longer and longer. Sangin Pie, Biden Drag Ion, Jungle Dweller, Hashing to the Endlessness, Extinguishing the Ashen, Dandy, White Lion, Haggard Lizardos, Ragnarika Armored Lizard, Cyclos the Circular Sprite, Blink Out. Like some of these card names have like a paragraph for a name. You're getting a little bit rough in these days. Man's got to read like. Golgoyle, the Steel Seismic Smasher. Ashen to Endlessness. Extinguishing the Ashen. Talons of Shirelane. Shaman of the Ashen City. Shaman, Shaman. Double Die. Ragnarika, the Mantis Monk. Valmonica, Invitare. Gruesome Grave Squirmer. All right, we're cold. We've gone completely cold on the packs. There are also tokens in here as well. Valmonica, Disarmonia, In Papa's Footsteps. Simultaneous Equation Cannons, Light Swarm, Aegis, Tin Pie Dragon, Pydra. This is the big, uh, super rare. This thing's going like 20 bucks currently. Uh, I don't expect that to hold up forever unless it's a truly short print. Uh, but giving you guys that as a throw out there, uh, as an FYI. So keep an eye out on that one. Uh, that is the most expensive super rare since we had uh, the Bish Shields. Way back in the day, like Bishiel, Druid, Swarm, and those uh, cooling embers. We'll skip right to Battle Guard Echoes. We got Ragnarika, Samurai Beetle, Blink Out, Dunovatus, Dokus, Weiss, Light Swarm, Arch, Farch, Archfiend, Farchfiend, Fart Fiend. He do be a Fart Fiend. That's for sure. Sangin Kaiman, we've got Centurion Gargoyle the second, Mimet Totlin Twin Dragon, Golgol the Steel Seismic Smasher, Goblin Biker, Troika Girare, and then Tinpai Dragon Phaedra, Ancient Gear Commander, Couplet, and Sangin Summoning, or Couplet, depending on how you're feeling today. Ragnarika Skeletal Soldier, Sangin Pie, Bident Dragon, Light Swarm, Jungle Dweller. We got Centurion Auxilia as our first secret rare of the pack. We'll go to uh, sleeve on that one later. It's a decent hit. Uh, Chandra, Cyclos, and Circular Sprite. It's not the best uh, cards. The secret rares are not super, super great. Uh, some of the other cards, I mean, obviously, are, are better off here. Nightmare Throne, uh, etc., are, are great, but that's a, it's a decent one. It might be better for Centurion players uh, who might get some play out of it, finally. Uh, Ragnarika. Oh, we got Pyrite Knight. We skipped over a couple cards there. Uh, we got Tin Pie Dragon, Phaedra, Double Die, and Blink Out, and Cyclos again there. Yeah, Centurion never really took off. Uh, the way I think people thought it were going to, but maybe now. Maybe this is the one that kickstarts it. Lightsworn Aegis, uh, again, one with paragraph for a name, Cooling Embers, Ragnarika Skeletal Soldier, and we got Minerva, Minerva, the Athenian Lightsworn. It's a cool looking card, good ultra rare, 
only worth a couple bucks at this time. Uh, I think the artwork's cool. I think it's great. It'd be great as a quarter century if I got that version of it, but didn't yet. Maybe holding out hope. Uh, and then Krishnard Witch here. So Stronghold the Hidden Fortress. And then we got another Tin Pie Dragon Phaedra in the back. Good artwork on Minerva. Uh, but it's just not a not a super valuable ultra rare uh, for what it's worth. Oh, we got multi-universe. Skipped a couple cards there by accident. Krishnard Witch, Weiss the Light Sworn Archfiend, Ragnarika Mantis Monk, and White Lord. I mean, how many, uh, speaking of White Lord, how many people are tired of every time on these pack openings? Like, every time you see White Lord, we just get, like, constant NBT jokes. I mean, it's just terrible. Extinguishing the Ashen, like, we get it. It's, it's beat to death here. Like, oh, there's an NBT card. Okay, thanks. Like, tired joke. We've, we've burned it out here. Ancient Gear Advance. And then we got Verudas, the final bringer of the end times. This is a very good secret rare. So we'll pull that to the side. Get our sleeve on that one to start off with. Quarter century of this would have been fantastic. It's the best quarter century in the set, uh, probably by far. Uh, but this is a, a beast of a uh, rank 10 Xyz monster. So all in all, probably a good pull. That's two secrets and uh, four ultras for us. So unless we get something good, turn silence. Probably not going to be, uh, sorry, unless we get some sort of error that should cap us out. We've got two packs left. We should have hit our pulls. We'd like to pick up another one of uh, Tin Pipe Hydra. Since those supers are going for quite a premium, rekindling to Ashen here. Uh, obviously, any one of those you get is is bonus recoup, recoup any of the box cost kind of things. Supers that are any super that goes for ten bucks or more is a bonus by far. Last pack magic, Sangin Kaiman. We got Golgoyle, simultaneous equation cannons, and where way where there's a will. Okay, interesting. Um, but definitely not how that phrase normally goes. Totland Fusion and then White Lord to wrap us out. So, pull wise, Verurus, Verudros, the final bring of the end times, did not get a great print on the name, uh, but great card. Ragnarika, the Stag Sovereign, it's a great ultra rare. And then, you're gonna have to get. Pydra, a Pydra into the, uh, into a sleeve. I got a sleeve out here for it already. Like a 17 to $20 ish super. Then Minerva is it's, it's a decent card in terms of value. I think it's a great card in terms of artwork. So there's just kind of a, uh, disconnect there. Unfortunately would have loved to get a quarter century of that, uh, collection wise and then we had centurion auxilla which hopefully for you centurion players will kickstart uh that deck for you guys and then the two ultras that wrapped us out die bell star and wake up centurion wake up the deck with centurion auxilla so we'll catch you on the next one you guys take care and uh hope you have a good one